sorry, Matt, can you grab as well? I'm just getting some in yeah. case he needs it. Okay, Adrian, I'm going to ask you to give me your name, spell it for me, and then give me your title. Adrian Smith, A-D-R-I-A-N-S-M-I-T-H, Head of Franchise Operations and Clinical Educator. All right. So you're also a clinical educator. I should say uh, Head of Franchise Operations and Clinical Educations. So let me use that as a jumping off point. Um, we've been talking to a number of people who seem to have a focus on education, and I'm, I'm getting the sense that education is very important um, to helping to establish the Esprit of franchise. Do you think that's true? Do you think education is a, a key uh, area for you as you roll this out? I think clinical education is a big priority of ours because you have a lot of customers that don't understand the IPF disease state or how to diagnose it and even sometimes understanding how to diagnose IPF, but not necessarily making a decision to put a patient on therapy. So education and getting that education component out to customers is a, is a critical success factor of ours. Do you see uh, that there is a lot more education happening with this product as opposed to other respiratory products that, with which you might have been involved? I don't know if there's so much of a difference between an educate. well, actually, there probably is a difference on the need of education in this market space because these are new products for this disease state that have never had anything on the market to treat IPF in the past. And so getting that education element out there in the community with community customers, community pulmonologists, not just the big ILD centers is a, is a, a very important part of what we do. Some people have said to us that they feel they're playing a role not only in helping to shape the conversation around the treatment, but around the disease itself. Do you see um, Genentech and the Esprit franchise as taking a leading role in, in helping shape the conversation around this disease? I think Genentech is very much taking a leading role in the treatment of IPF. We're already the market leader. We want to expand upon that market leadership. Um, and that's our, that's our vision, uh, to be the um, market leader in the treatment of IPF. Talk to me a little bit about um, how you felt when uh, when you first reached 10,000 patients. Was that something you knew was coming, or was was that growth more rapid than something that you had anticipated? I think the 10,000 patients we knew was coming, but how quick we got there was something that we should all be very proud of that accomplishment. And it's really a, it's a really a testament to the sales force and to this field force of what we've been able to accomplish together when we have a common aligned goal. And the amount of patients that we've been able to impact is just truly remarkable. Do you remember hitting the first 1,000?